Hello. It's time for our last match of the uh, of the afternoon. It's not even evening technically. It's 5 p.m. here. It's 5 p.m. here, and it's going to be a mirage between the uh, the teams of Phase and Godsense. Good first map by Phase. I mean, they, would you say they're in, they're improving quickly? Yeah, sure. I mean, of, of course, their their results are just astronomically improved. Competitive because before Carrigan they couldn't they couldn't get out of group stages. Yeah, Since true, Carrigan yeah. they've managed to get out of group stages and be very very competitive into the semi-finals. We haven't really seen them in the finals yet, but could very well happen at some point. Could very well happen at some point. I believe uh, it was NIP that defeated them at uh, at Oakland's. If I might be wrong, it might have been someone else. I, th I think it was an IP. I can't remember. But and, and either way, they're a threat. They're a real. Yeah, it was an IP. They're a real threat. Threat now. A real threat to basically everybody. But we have to see how far that goes. Now, Mirage is a map which I think has a, a lot of potential strengths for phase. Can Carrigan be the one to harness it? We shall see. Phase set off on the CT side. Oh. They play a retake. And so far, no one's going down, and the push comes in. That's nice by Godsend. Double H cheese towards the toll beef. I like it. But can they continue the charge? So far, so good. Schneider up close to the burst fire, and uh, there's a first kill for FaZe. Karakun and Kishima with a lot to do here. Schneider does no need for him to push the crawl space. Karakun can't get the shot into Pronax, and uh, this looks pretty bad for Kishima. I think he's walking into the spider's web, and he will be consumed slowly. Shots to the back. Can't get anything done there. I really like that pistol round from Godsend. Two players on the grenades. Again, this is a uh, a map where on versus pros T sides, we're often seeing three people with grenades, but Godsend had a different take on it. Two people with high explosives towards the uh, towards the toll booth position. Can always be tricky. And it worked out lovely. Yeah, I always like it when teams press very hard onto the CT spawn position. It's such an important spot to hold. I'll be able to take away from the CTs. They just have to play a good anti-eco now, and they're going to be moving towards A with pretty basically everybody, so this should work out fine. I don't see too many complications, unless a crazy headshot's found, but no. Alu's still in the bomb site, but he's only got a USP. Alu's still in the bomb site, and with <laughs> doing some damage to the USP. One HP for JW, but he's still looking for frags with that one HP. He wants the ace. He wants the ace. When you have uh, players moving into that position, moving into the A bomb site rather, the, whoever makes it into Sandwich, they have to um, check their ninja spot. Because the first place you, you can clearly see ninja spot is from is from Sandwich, from a T perspective. So uh, always remember to check your ninja, especially in a round such as that. So this is the this is a no money round. Alu though has been very conservative with his cash. He's got 3450 in the bank which means he can have his AWP in the following rounds. He can even have some armor. But for now they'll stack they'll use the numbers as best they can. Got sent with uh Schneider on the Mac 10. He may be the information man for the side. He's in the palace at present and there are two CTs to his right as you can see on high on the low. There's Carrigan taking down at range. It's the same round twice for Godsend, basically. It's exactly the same with how they set it up. So it's basically... And what you do when, when you do like a round like that twice in a row to phase, is you, question, you put a question in their mind that next time they run an eco, are you going to do exactly the same round? And then if, if that's the case, or if you think that's the case, you can then get HEs, you can try to pre-nade those angles into A slope and so on, and maybe get loads of kills. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, God doesn't have a variation to their anti-eco. They'll probably go B next time or something, but maybe they won't. So, four power on Alu, and that's, that could be the big difference maker here, as we see him uh, rattling off some shots, but he's been denied by smoke play from God. So it's the standard stuff so far. JW always going to go past the smoke, isn't he? Yes, he is. This could be a problem here for Carrigan. Oh, he could have moved us. Oh, no, never mind. He gets himself the pick. And uh, they need to worry about the short player. Now, what you can really do, if you have somebody in apps who has a smoke grenade in this position, you can drop a smoke onto short, which really would cause problems for FaZe in that they wouldn't know 
uh, that player on the B is going to be isolated one way or another. They've rotated, rotated a second player in, however. Well, mid is occupied by Godsent, and there is Alu. He will make his presence known. AZ will duel with Lecro, but Schneider's here as well. So we've got trades all over the place. Now, they know where Alu is, but where is Rain? He's currently stuck on the, the A side, or at least holding things down over there. And Alu continues to deliver on B. So which way will Godsent go? All the choices in the world. And Rain's the guy sitting in the connect, as you can see, with that M4 and not the uh, the AWP. That's Ali on B. So can Rain stop this? He might be able to get the one versus one, actually, because I don't think JW is necessarily going to be able to find Rain. It's more likely to be that one versus one, JW versus Alu. And Rain, if he can take down Schneider with a bomb, it's only 20 seconds left at this point. Starting to cut a little bit close, but this time now JW's got a better angle. Spots the kill on terrain, very easily done. And that's going to be Alu now in a one versus two. He's got plenty of time. Ooh, I think he had an angle onto the planter there. That would have been massive, but doesn't go for it in the end. And instead is caught in, in the middle of nowhere. Did he have the angle? I think he did. He saw a part of him, but I think he might have been concerned that he would tag him through the wall and not kill him, perhaps. If he gets that kill, I don't know if there's time to get the bomb. That would have been that. I would, ah. have, I would have really loved to have seen that. Yeah, there were more there were more elements to that situation than I may have considered previously. So it's Phase's turn to suffer a terrible start, as Godsent did in a previous map. Three people top mid for Godsent, with Schneider once again lurking towards uh, Palace. So we'll see if they head uh, Godsent towards A a bit later on. They'll go back to those uh, anti-eco rounds. The Deagle in mid getting off to a good start there. JW slowly emerging through the underpass. So you've got control of mid. AZ jump peeking. Ooh. JW smartly moving back because he could... Uh, AZ chose to face as well. There are risks for both sides. Vlekro top mid. Resmoke comes in. But let's see. Three players in mid for Godsend. They've left a bomb which might be discovered by Carrigan. Far back. Carrigan might miss it completely. There's a quick pick up there. That's just beautiful stuff coming in from FaZe. Just winning those key aggressions, finding isolated players, just winning and, and winning those headshots. It's been massive. Godsend now just been thrown into turmoil. How do you get the bomb even? There's a player in the back. That's Carrigan. He's got an AK as well and a smoke grenade. So he's just taking a very passive position here to cover the bomb. They know where Pranax is, obviously, and also initially where uh, Schneider is on A. So can they find a way to help Carrigan here, or will he be on on the lonesome smoke in front of the bomb? This is going to kill so much time. At this point, there is actually not time to get the bomb planted. All they have to do is survive. <laughs> Carrigan, very tricksy stuff. Kyushima just has to survive in the rounds one. Please do not die, Kiyoshima. That would be awful. And they're coming for him. Are they coming for him? No. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, Richard, <laughs> I was very afraid. Uh, but he does get the kill onto Shinder after time, so it works out beautifully. Yeah, I, I was... God, Godson was spending a lot of time in the middle position, and he weren't really doing um, too much with it. And then I saw Carrigan coming through. Happened off camera, unfortunately. Spots the bomb, gets the kill, and then it all descends into madness from there. So, phase still uh, around the way. Again, I'm surprised Godfrey didn't go for the. Um, well, even if they didn't go for the same play towards A, they spent a lot of time in mids, but not really having much progress. Lovely angle from Rain. That's a great start. They had an early pick last round with the Deagle from Kishima, and they got an early pick this again this time from Rain. Got sent moving through mid. Bomb's been left in uh, T spawn. JW looking for a pick towards B. Not being offered one though. Double orbs phase. Yeah, Karrion's playing B apps. And Alu's playing connector at the moment. Got sent slowly trying to work their way in to a pick. It is taking some time though. And all they've got for it is a bit of damage and the loss of a comrade. So the bomb will be collected now by Schneider and got sent with the forward positioning towards middle and now having to go for a play. Is it going to be the B split? Because the bomb is going away from a slope. We're having a push here from Rain onto Palace. That's going to start rotation for the CTs as well. Surely we'll lose uh, 
Alu perhaps he'll rot start rotating, or somebody's going to rotate away from A, because this information from Rain is very, very important. They know now. Look at this rotation coming in. The push has not even started yet. There's 20 seconds. They know what's going on. And they, it's over just like that. Yeah, they had no idea where Carrigan was. And this push has been well and truly disabled. Flusher, 12 seconds. Look how tagged all these players are. But there's no time. There's no time. There's no personnel. So uh, Godsense lead slipping away from them at the moment. You see Flutcher with $50 in the bank. Not going to get much, well, not going to get anything because he's alive. So we'll see what it does. the team, the money saying on his team. And now that's, uh, oh, they can go for the buy, but I mean, they've got no grenades yet. Someone's got to sacrifice Slekro and Pronax or, oh, Slekro and JW and Pronax. Or, oh no, just Slekro and Pronax. Sacrifice. All right then, A with smokes perhaps. Faze not playing deep. Alu went for a look towards underpass, didn't see anything there. We see Lekro dropping in first. He's quite ahead of his team, but he's still going to get the frag. The moving accuracy of the Tech-9. Alu can't get anything done either. And all of a sudden, there are two, one Phase Clan player remaining. That was quick, it was swift. Karagun has to get frags here. He's got to get more kills. He, this cannot be a free round. Their economy is already so bad. The God's that is. The face did survive a five players last round. So, yeah, if they want to have up with a lot of grenades in the next round, Karagun not only has to survive, but he can get another kill. The problem is there's no way he expects Schneider to be in B apps. So he will die and lose the orb. It's a very sad spot there for face. Basically, you, I mean, you can't afford to miss your first couple of shots when the rush comes in like that. And that's exactly what happened, not just to one player, but, but not just to Rain, but also to Alu. And if that happens, both of them missing everything like that, then that's that's what you're going to have. Leco dropping the smoke top mid. Sometimes you see a second smoke thrown through that, which often suggests a fast play towards B. Alu has not been detected. He's got a 5-7. Got to be careful there when you come up this position, because you might have T's on a late rotation. So he could get shot from the back. JW, though, smart enough as well. I'll explain that in a second. Oh, no! JW! What? what? <laughs> that is, okay, JW, hello. So, uh, I don't know if I'll have time to go through this now. Carrigan's just looking at what remains of his teammate. Oh, there's a smoke grenade rolling past. If you're an AWP and you have a good spawn to get a V-pick as... Uh, never mind. Later on, it will be. JW, finished off by Carrigan, who may think it's safe over there, but he exposes himself while reloading. But now he's backed off. Um, there we go. Kishima looking. I think I don't know if you ever overextended. I'm not sure exactly how the angles are there. He's on the bricks because he wants to see people moving into uh, connector. But he's looking for a bit more information and information he found. So now Carrigan is in an important position. Next contact. Oh, he's going to catch press with Nate in his hand. The timing gets good damage on the flusher as well. Will AZ peak as a response? They have nothing going on on B. There is no one on B. They can definitely do damage. And with it, if he gets a frag there, that's the round uh, potentially... Uh, well, they can contest the round then, but you <coughs> can see that after he dies, that's it. Okay. Uh, there's nothing else you can do. So if you have an AWPA, if you're an AWPA on T spawn and you have a good spawn to go to, towards mid or B, if you look at someone like JW or even more so JDM, JDM quite favors the, the B play. Um, if you can get fast into an angle on apps, then you can catch a CT jumping onto the box to peak the apartments. Um, so often, AWPAs can often go for that angle. You'll see uh, Alu sometimes do that as well. But if you don't see a CT there quickly, then... Um, Especially if you're on your own, you've got nobody watching the other pass, and you can turn around and just make sure nobody creeps up behind you, which is what uh, JW had great timing for. Somewhat unfortunately, he looked away just as Alu appeared, but fortunately, he just no-scoped him anyway. <laughs> I, hope we have a, I hope there's a replay of that, because that was just insane. Insane. How are you going to pressure production like that? Look, what you, look, they're... They're like, no replay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the well has the well has run dry for phase at the at the moment for the time being. English is mad hard today, man. Really. Do you know why? It's because I I played a game of Counter Strike last night. I went to bed at 4 a.m. and now I can't talk. 
So it's my own fault. Maybe it's because we've been talking for seven days straight. Except I didn't have, I did I wasn't because one day I well had food poisoning in, in the middle of that. So you were. I had, well, other, I had other things coming out of my mouth, James. <laughs> other than words. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> Eventually, maybe you just run out of words. Maybe that's is that a thing? Do you just, I, do you just I, run out? I just needed needed a good sleep. I think I think with the long hours, just a good the good sleep was needed. But I chose to play some Counter Strike. But I'll tell you, Dan, it made me happy because with this with all this RSI, I'm not playing much Counter Strike. It makes me sad. I played yeah. I played CS and I was happy. So there we go. Let's see who will be happy from these two teams fighting for qualification. You say FaZe uh, haven't made many finals of late. Maybe they'll make the final of VCS if they are no successful. Finals. But right now they're five rounds behind Godsent, who will be looking to make a final of their own. I think they need the experience. You know, I still think it's fairly early for, well, for mainly Godsent rather than FaZe. But Godsent and Fnatic, it's fairly early with their new rosters. Um, to be too concerned with their results in the short term. But the experience with the new boy is, well, mainly Lecro really in this in this one, in this lineup, um, is important. More experience for the whole team to gel. So you know what your teammates are going to do without thinking about it, without them telling you. You just know my teammates probably going to do this on this particular map with your new roles, maybe? Yep. Yeah, that's how it is when you're on a a team with players you know very well. I remember that feeling quite well. It's a good feeling. Yeah, it is a very, very awesome feeling. It allows you to not have to have the communication, um, which is very, very cool. But maybe that's a topic for another time. We've got a sliding gate. Oh, oh, oh it still gets Alu, actually. Yeah, you got to be really careful on, on window. That, that often happens. Teams very much like to throw nades in there if you're damaged. Ali was uh, playing maybe a little bit greedily and got caught out with a grenade. So that's the pick that they're waiting for, but it's, they've been waiting for a long ass time. And there is only 20 seconds to plant the bomb now. And the bomb is it's super far away. Yeah, it's in the apartments, it's making its way over there. But by the time it gets there, if the guy dies with the bomb, that could be a problem. But that, it looks like it's okay. That is a huge play. They actually delayed. That's a great read as well, because all Karaka needs to do is hide and wait for the bomb but maybe Godsent realizing what they would do in that same situation, find that crucial kill and the bomb is down. And they have glorious angles, but AZ has the headshots. Looking for the short play here, and he'll bait, essentially become, uh, make Kishima the bait. <laughs> has to go for the knife there. <laughs> has to commit. AZ brought a knife to a gunfight. He did, That's that he did. To be fair, everyone's bringing knives to gunfights. They just don't, they're just in their little... Um, I love knives. What are they called? That you have a knife in sheath. Sheath, yes. They have. They are sheathed. Deagles and Peter Fifties for phase in this round. God sent enjoying some sweet revenge for the time being. Over a dominating scoreline over their opponent. How do you like it, Phase? Az forced from his position. Three people from phase in the B-bomb site. Now, again, this is a, a round where Godsent spending a lot of time in the middle area on the Antico. But what are they gonna do with it? Phase gonna have AZ serving himself up in CPL, but the bomb still just standing in mid. Pretty much the entire team is in mid, save for uh, Pronax in Connector. So where is your play to a site? They don't have anybody watching a push from A. No one watching a push from B. Karagun is doing the same as he did in a previous round. Just going on the hunts. Now we've got Godsent moving in. So they've had more success, but <clears throat> seems a, a somewhat dangerous to have no eyes on B or A and all be in the middle. But it's working out on this occasion. And now JW is going to clean up Palace, which is uh, the the Orpa doing that is has its own dangers as well. But it's all fine. Everything's fine. Nine to two in favor of Godsent. Yeah, they're really starting to generate quite a lead. This is this is kind of insane. Oh, auto sniper straight away for Carrigan. Now, where, where is he going to use that? Probably, get, I mean, you get more value more consistently out of it, using it on A. So, and that uh, it's always going to be good towards Tolbooth or playing into the far back position. So that's what he's going to be doing. 
And Gally goes in for the fast pick. Oh, oh he, he thought at first that the fire was on the stairs, which is where it normally is, but it's actually above him. So he's, he's uh, okay for this low, low ground peak. I think AZ's watching his back as well, but I can't really tell. Kishima picked off elsewhere. Yeah, this this is the this is the best range for the auto sniper. B is is uh, too close quarters, but also you can often miss that shot with an AWP. So it's uh, nice to get an auto there. It's one of those weird shots, similar to uh, long on overpass as well around the boulder. Often miss people running past that angle as well. So that could be a smoke for the balcony or below the balcony. That's a very uh, that can't be deliberate because it should bounce much further out than, than it has. So Pranax is, that's a bit awkward for him. Spotted, but uh, Carrigan's gonna be the one to get picked down. Godsend still needs to cross to the site to get the bomb planted. They've got 50 seconds with which to do it. And he's gonna be careful for a jump as well. And he's just exposed to too many angles, unfortunately. Rain coming in from the back. Oh, the bomb's just gone down, but so patient with the trigger finger there. Just the one kill though. Yeah, he took too long to get the first kill. It needed to be instant for him to convert to more and it was not. But you know, Rain was there to try to make the round winning play, which I respect, but it didn't go his way this time. Two to 10, massive scoreline for Godsend. Uh, initially, uh, I, I was just kept waiting for face to make their way back in, make their way back in, but just never quite seemed to happen. There's a lot of marginal spots, there's lots of spots where they could have taken things uh, back under control, but Godsense proving stronger on Mirage so far. JW looking for these picks again, and JW works his angles quite well. Uh, previously with an AK, we saw him get a, a pick there, uh, using the range advantage on the angles on the peaks. A nice exchange here for FaZe, they've done well. AZ holding down connector still hasn't really taken much damage either. So now Godsons are in a really weird position. You've got Flusher and JW who look like they can split B, but there's no one with the bomb. That's crazy. AZ was trying to escape that entire time. It's still got the second kill there. Patient play, bursting from Carrigan. Not enough though. Kishima in position, Rain not. But look how deep these Godsend plays are. Look where the bomb is. The bomb is miles away. They've got a minute, but maybe they're relying on uh, getting these picks. JW spots one, there's Kishima on the side as well, and he's going to go down. So Flusher needs to basically kill both of these players. They won't realize that uh, the bomb is miles away, but it seems he's going to choose to retrieve that instead, reset the situation. He's got 20 HP as well, which might have a lot to do with it. The CT's moving towards short, and he is going to get taken down. So, doesn't work out for Godsend. Unlucky for uh, JW, if he spotted that first player if you had the angle while that first player, or rather second player, came into the shop and gets a pick there, then they probably win the round by elimination and the bomb's not required. But such is life. Three to ten. FaZe finally get another round on the boards, but Godsent will have a better buy. Starting things off slow. But we might have the explosion on TA sites from Godsend in. They go straight through the grenades. Phase are going to gun them down. They can't get out of these choke points. It's Pronax and Schneider left now. And Schneider's in middle, but they can't get anywhere close to the bomb plant that would allow Schneider to really have a nice round on his hands. Instead, uh, just completely shut down. The explo explosion does not work. There were no warps in that previous round. Now we find ourselves with two, one on each side in the last round of the first half. Faze clawing back a semi-respectable scoreline, at least one that gives them some opportunity in the second half. And again, JW looking for the pick towards B. Lekra can focus on the low grounds. And we have someone headed in his direction. Carrigan, though, he's made his way to the right-hand side already. Jumping past the angle. Ooh. <laughs> JW's not afraid to go up close and personal with the orb. It's Lekra, though, to pick up the frag in middle to start things off. That might encourage JW further, or maybe it'll make him, or pacify him as he realizes he doesn't need to do anything. And now he's being really locked off. He's also expended loads of utility from the CTs on the B-bomb side. So look at this exchange. It's still going on between JW and Carrigan on B. If you can, where he ran up initially to those uh, blinds, if you, if you can get there pretty fast, it's a very strong position for a T, especially with an AK, a bit more dynamic either way. 
So far, so good for FaZe W. Blind, how is he still alive? Goes back for the peak, of course. And that's not going to work out. Three versus three now. AZ holding the angle. No bomb spotted, though, for FaZe. They do not know the ultimate intentions of Godsend. They are without information. And Godsend start to creep towards B. So this is going to be a bad look for FaZe. They might not be able to get five rounds on the board if this is a clean plant. Kiyoshima, oh no, he looks away. Oh, he's coming back. Flash is ready for it, but Kiyoshima is more ready. Better position. Takes the frag. That should be an indication too as to where the, t CTs, the T's are, sorry, are going. And you can see Schneider is going to be spotted there by Kiyoshima. Kiyoshima cannot stop the plant from going down. That was a very needed play. Schneider goes for the fake. It's only 15 seconds left to go though. Can't be messing around here. Well, two versus two now off the plant. Can't get it's gone out in time and Lekro's been spotted immediately. That Molotov will stop the double peak from coming in from Carrigan. Does he see Lekro towards the car? Oh, Lekro jumps up and finishes it just like that. 11 to 4. Strong half from Godsent. Could have been worse for FaZe. So you've got two rounds here, two rounds there, and that's about it. Cheeky little quad kill from Lekro, considering that he only has six frags in the entire half, um, despite Godsent getting so many rounds. It's quite, it's quite humorous that almost every single frag for Lekro comes in that very last round, uh, so that uh, Godsent can cl close it. Perhaps he can have a better time of his CT side. Godsend don't have to win too many rounds, they're just five, that's all they need. They just need five rounds. How hard can that be against FaZe? can be not so hard if the pistol is successful. FaZe moving with the bomb through the underpass, don't see that every day. JW, of course, very hungry for information. Flusher going for the pot shots there, so one nice pre-fire. Schneider delivering as well. Kishima getting tired. Kishima getting fragged. There goes Carrigan. Disaster is striking for FaZe. AZ alone and the numbers are just going to keep streaming in. Oh my god! How has he got a one versus one? Lecro <laughs> stops the ridiculousness. That would have been so stupid. Four kills. That would have been four kills in the space of three seconds. It would have been insane. That I love that last one from AZ, man. That was amazing. Just like pops him in mid air. Those kills are so satisfying. I was satisfied. 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 So, pistols here, force by for phase. Force for phase. Will it work for them? Will it blend? JW here in the window, looking for action. He's going to get some action. All these tags coming in from Godsend onto phase. They're all so low, and they're all getting fragged. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man. Not much left for Godsend to take this one. Just a, a mere two rounds, and this round is going to be up against. They're going to be up against three rounds. Sorry, mere three rounds, and this round they're going to be up three against. Thirteen is sixteen. Just some Glocks and P250s. Some Glocks. Glocks. Bomb is headed towards A. <clears throat> Phase with these Glocks and pistols. I have two people in B apps at the moment. Maybe it's a rush B. I will plant A. But will it work out? They've left the bomb and they're all dead. So, difficult times for FaZe Clan. Looks very likely that uh, these teams will be winning a match each. That said, it's never over until it's over. And the uh, 14th round has been... Um, has been a round of, of collapse and failure for a number of teams in the past. Let's see if it will be forgotten or if they will prevail. JW's got the money for the AWP, the AWP he goes for. If Godsen can keep FaZe um, off the AWP as well, then that will help. That said, Alu is a very strong rifler. But, um, I mean, you want him on the AWP, so... <coughs> Advantage Godsen if he isn't. Oh, Karakut, oh! What a tease, a tasty morsel in mid there for JW, but it seems far out of reach. In comes the push onto A and uh, Pronax is going to get dropped straight away. JW is in for a quick kill though, and the bomb will be planted by FaZe, but they haven't gained any positioning whilst with this bomb plant just yet. Can can Rain take CT? That's That will be big. There's loads of players there though. He's going to try to use a flash to do it, and look at how far back FaZe are playing. This is, this is why the CT side can get back in, because 
They can get so much ground towards the bomb site if, if they can just get rain. There it is. Now there becomes a problem. More nades where that came from for Godsend. They should have a strong chance to retake this bomb. Palace smoked off as well. Alus, I mean, the, the CT needs to start moving quickly though because they're running out of time to actually get on the defuse. Carrigan, oh, Lecro's going for the hero play and he's got help with JW. JW could just run this actually he can die for a side. And this time he's got a defuse, it's match point. I thought Carrigan was going to crush the dreams there, but the dreams will not be crushed. At least not Godsense dreams. Baze's dreams may be under defeat. The boots of Godsense. The mucky boots of Godsense. Trampling all over Phase. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> 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 nope. Somebody fell out of a chair. Abort. Phase. They have still have a very good buy, and that smoke's going to help. Uh, sorry, the plant's going to help. Carrigan, I have no idea how he got that frag, but the frag he got. Moves back away as well, so he won't get uh, grenaded. Oh, the oh, I wanted the HE. I wanted the HE. The pre fight That's ridiculous, Carrigan. He had 10 HP. He still has 10 HP. That is a hero play if ever I saw one. It's looking really good indeed now for phase two. I don't know what Godson can do in this round. The, it, would ha it would be obviously a big mistake from phase to let them back in. Because the, I mean, the bomb hatches, has, they just have to collect the bomb and just take it to A. They still have two players on B. You, would just, you kind of presume that as a response, they would take at least one player away from B, but we're getting frags here. JW and Flusher are doing some work. Just Flusher now in a one versus three. It's not unwinnable. The bomb is not yet near the bomb site. So Flusher, he's against Carrigan first. He's very low, a superior distance away from the angle for Flusher. So he will see Carrigan first and giving him that easy kill. And now he's in a one on two. He's got a smoke, he's got an incendiary, and a kit, and full health with an M4. This is very doable for Flusher. Kishima just needs to hold this angle. Oh no, Flusher knows exactly what's going on. <laughs> Ali was in spawn, he was making his way towards A. The pick comes in, he's almost in B. Headed back a little bit, but he's chosen to commit. Flusher, oh, it's a, it's one bullet is all Ali requires. Four HP. Flusher's just waiting for the repeat to come in, waiting for the doubt from Alu. And there it is, oh but he's going to miss the shot, the crucial shot. It's so hilarious because he had the play there. Like, it's like every... Flusher knows what's going to happen every single time. The only thing letting him down there is his execution of, of, the, of the, the frags. Because he, he wasn't quite on point on that first M4 engagement right at the end there. But it just... That's why Flush is one of my, my guys to watch if, if you want to learn how to do, like, have, have very good decision making. But uh, can, maybe we can come back to that at some other point. We've got Flush going for a very fast play up mid. This is brutal. Phase one, the round. They're up against the ropes. There's nowhere left to turn as this match point for Godsend. And two players are taken away immediately. Well, more players are disappearing. Suddenly, we're in a team versus two. Rain! Rain! No, he's definitely slider! He's running out bullets! How quick are these kills coming in? Rain looking for the ace. And there it is! Oh my god! Anything you can do, I will kill your whole team. Just didn't stop there. Just kept going. Gotta respect that. Just kept going. Damn! Player after player. It looked terrible for FaZe originally as well. He lost two players immediately at the start of the round. And now we get a full save from Godsend. As we should. They got so much time to do this. Oh my god. The man the man them are out. And the man them are down. Very fast round, that's uh that's good. On to the next one. Gentlemen's agreement, we will fight in mid. And we will move on swiftly to the real fights. To the real fights. The battles are being won, but who will ultimately win the war between these two sides? Phase nearing half the score of God Sense. It's a long road back. And Rain is doing his best to drag his team there. One of the fastest aces I think I've seen. I don't know. The skills just came out of nowhere. You get a headshot and you get a headshot and so do you. Speaking of headshots, AZ and Rain continuing to claw things back. How do you respond to this? The bomb's heading towards A. It's heading into two of these three players. Alu lurking towards B in the meantime. Lecro moving up to short. Tons of time. Oh my god. Closer than close. Rosie Gaines. Lecro finding something back for Godsent. 
Oh wow, he finds a lot back for Godsend. He gets the second one on B as well. Stardust position is really good right now. No one checks this. The deep play and no one to check the deep angle in shadow. And that allows Flusher straight in there. There's no HP for Rain. That's going to seal the deal. Godsend will have a very dominant showing here on map two, which is, well, that is a very good way to respond to a phase that sort of crushed them on the first map. So, I almost wish that they um, started on that those halves at the beginning of the match because that was quite fun to watch. What an what an insane clutch from Rain! That was completely absurd. But it was all too late, unfortunately, and the scoreline will remain dominant. So we can have a look at the leaderboard and see how these results have impacted these teams' placings. Phase now in the second place, but they're done. Their games are finished and uh, everyone around them has still got two games in hand. In the meantime, uh, well, phase of qualified, I'm being told by producer Reese. Godsent still have some opportunity. They're in fourth place at the moment. Yeah, so it's, it's, well, it's really interesting, isn't it? Because... I, I guess mean... this means G2 don't qualify it now. Uh, neither do versus Pro, Dignitas, unlikely. So, uh, I mean, Mouse Sports maybe have an opportunity. NIP, I'm not even going to try and calculate that, how they could... Maybe there's a way to get 30 points out of uh, out of their remaining matches. It's going to be an interesting one. It shall be interesting. Well, it's one more day left of matches here for ECS Season 2 to decide who will actually... Well, to, to just cement who is where. Obviously, the top two spots are somewhat cemented with Stralis and Face. So congratulations to them. Very interesting storylines, actually, because all the teams that basically had all these these, these uh, lineup switches, the Turmoil, Astralis, you know, teams like you know, uh, Envious, Face, like these are all teams that have had loads of struggles, but they're doing really well in the league, which is very cool. We might see a very new, a different, like a new new chapter for all of these teams. So it's very cool. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be a, a big ending to the league. So that's all for today. Tomorrow, the last six matches of ECS. See you then. It's time now, my brother. Come, follow me. Move it.